All right, man, I'm here with 223 Wu, man. What's good, man? Good job, gang. Fresh off dog mentality, man. How was life yeah. been since dog mentality dropped? Shit, still in that dog mentality. Like, <laughs> what, um, what made you name it dog mentality? Shit, just the, the space I was in when I made that up, shit. Yeah. A lot of shit was going wrong for a nigga, so sometimes you gotta turn into a dog to get it right. Yeah, nah, I get you. Okay. Like, what, um, what was the process? Like, was you writing? Freestyling, just going straight in there? What shit. was the process of like the making making up the music? Some of the models I was writing, yeah. you feel me? Some of the models when I be just blacking on the models, I be freestyling, just going off the dawn, how I feel type shit. Yeah. Most of the time I do that shit. Yeah. Okay. Now I remember uh the last time we did an interview, you said like one of your musical like inspirations was Biggie. Biggie, like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Is that still like a thing when you go in the booth trying to like, I ain't gonna say channel it, but like you <coughs> got that spirit of Biggie in type shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Biggie play with them words, that nigga's a goat with that shit. Yeah. And that's all I'm trying to do, play with my words, get my crap better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Say shit that niggas really can feel, because a lot of niggas be talking bullshit out here for yeah. real. Do you, uh, <coughs> do you see the growth that you have from project to project? Like, are you noticing the growth, or is you like moving at like a pace that you want to like pursue, or is it like you fast like climbing up the like the like the ladder type shit? Shit, yeah, hell yeah, a nigga yeah. growing every day. You feel me? Yeah. Just putting that shit up, putting that shit in people's face. Yeah. Can't deny it. For yeah. Real shit, especially yeah. if it's hard. What's your gonna catch it. What's your favorite song gonna take? Uh, that two two three nine hundred. Yeah. 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 What makes yeah. that the most special one on there? Cause that's really how a nigga was feeling. Some shit that happened earlier that day. Yeah. You feel me? The nigga just carried that same energy to the stool. Yeah. Me and my brother 900 V Log, yeah. YJB Glock. Yeah. You feel me? We got in that booth. No writing, no pen, no pad. Just got in there and talked that shit. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Like I was telling you earlier, my favorite song on that motherfucker is that trap style. Yeah. Cause like I was telling you, that shit got a Wu Tang feel to it. Like just. Not, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is from Houston and shit, so it ain't like all the way on New York shit. Yeah. But just how many styles is on one type of song. Yeah. Like, that shit, like, that nah, shit is dope as fuck. Yeah, yeah, that just being in the stool having fun with your brother. You gotta have fun yeah. with shit. You can't take it too serious. Yeah. You feel me? Because you take it too serious, you're gonna overthink. Yeah. So shit, we just let that shit roll. Whoever wanted to get in that bitch. And them all my 900 niggas, you know, 2 to 3 PMV, my nigga Quarto in that hoe. Yeah. Feel me? You know, my brother gonna feature on anything. I'm yeah. for shit, shit. Shout out Quarto. Shout out my brother, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, like, with, like, having, like, people on the song with you, how important is it to, like, if a, like, if you feel like a nigga verse ain't what, like, what his potential can be, are you, like, honest in that? Like, telling the motherfucker Yeah, that? yeah. Yeah. I tell nigga quit. Yeah. If you put no bullshit on here, nigga, we go ahead and do it again. Yeah. Well, I'll yeah. take over that spot let him catch me after. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Nah, I get no that. Bullshit. So how's the rest of 2024 going to go for you? Just, are you trying to push the label? Are you pushing yourself? Like, how how's the rest of the year looking? Oh, yeah. Sure. Of course, I'm going to push the label because that's us. That's we. Mm -hmm. sure, we created that. But. Mm -hmm. I've been doing a lot of shit on my own too. I got a solo project I'm finna drop too. Yeah. And my brother's here too. Two, yeah. three quarter off him drop that shit. Yeah. Shit coming out real soon. But yeah. we always gonna push the label and shit. Yeah. Everybody working at our time, you know. Yeah. We never no slackers. Yeah. What is like like I, you touched on it like like a few like minutes ago, but like what actually is dog mentality? Like for somebody that's going through something or somebody that's trying to get to where they really going? Facts, yeah. well, you're back against the wall, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you can't. You really can't corner those rabbit dog, real yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Cause when they, they tell they get that dog mentality, that wolf instinct mm -hmm. to, uh, to lash out, to bite at anybody. Yeah. It's just a mentality. Yeah. You know, either you got it or you don't, Yeah. real shit. So it's like, what would you tell like a young nigga coming up that would look up to you or look up to like anybody on PMB or just anybody like, what would you tell them as far as just like ch channeling they like dog mentality? Shit, to channel they dog mentality? Yeah. Shit, if it's all going wrong, shit, when, you, when you're down, the only way is up. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So cut out anything that ain't doing you good in your life, you know? yeah. Cause 
a lot of shit you don't even really need for real. Yeah. It just be in the way and you just carry it on because you're a good nigga. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta get that down the time and learn how to bite shit off. Let that shit go. Yeah. How, shit. how do you let shit go when you like you said you're a good nigga? How do you how do you let shit go that ain't for you? Shit. Or oh, how do you recognize that it ain't for you first? Everything go wrong when you with it. Yeah. Don't nothing go right. Yeah. Shit going wrong, shit going missing. Yeah. You feel me? Nigga done been there, done yeah. that. I ain't trying to go back to that. That's where I got that dog mentality. Yeah. As soon as I don't like some shit, I'ma speak on it. Yeah. A lot of niggas don't do that. They let shit dwell and build up yeah. and overboil. Yeah. When you gotta have that dog mentality, you just attack the situation. Yeah. Since like now that you notice that is the shit cutting you off, is you like like you said, you straight to the point of cutting that shit off. Mm -hmm. Like I can't fuck with this shit at all. Nah, for real. Let's go back to that trap style, like how do you do you uh how do you place some do you are you in control of like the placement on the like pe like people placements on mm -hmm. the like the song? Yeah no, it just how like you feel me how it's going. Yeah. That song shit <coughs> niggas all in the booth, <coughs> you feel me? Yeah. It's really like niggas hear a nigga verse on that and be like, shit, I wanna hop on that yeah. that nigga get on I do I do a song with anybody. Shit. Yeah. I even do a song with you. Yeah. Nigga, like, <laughs> Yeah, shit, so shit. Man, we, nigga, so versatile. Yeah. He gonna keep doing what he doing. Got so much to say. Yeah, real yeah, shit. Yeah, and how how do them like troubling times or like them dark times? How do they like help you? Do they like help you in the booth or do like do you have to go in the booth and not think about that shit? Shit, I live by a saying. Yeah, it's an old school saying. Oh yeah, nigga told me. Yeah. What don't break a nigga, make a nigga. Yeah. So either you gonna sit back and let it break you, yeah. or you gonna let it make you yeah. into what you want yourself to be. Straight up. Don't nobody control your life but you for real. Yeah. Man, sure. wow, that's a good ass saying. Real shit. So last time I asked you what the next five years look like, I'm gonna, first I don't remember, like, do you remember what you said when I asked you that? What I said. What do y'all see like the next five years for y'all? Going up, yeah. <laughs> like, this shit is gonna be turned like a Oh, yeah, that's always happening. Yeah, see, is it still the same? It's gonna, it's still gonna yeah, be turned. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it come ups and downs with everything, but yeah, shit, I can't complain. God grading my paper straight. Yeah, nah, that's yeah, yeah. So, like, what, like, what sound do you see yourself going to? Are you gonna be experimenting? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah like experimenting with sounds. I've been really it? trying to fuck with like some, I ain't gonna say rock star, but you know, the rapper Yeet. Yeah, 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 I fuck with that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His he flow, his yeah. sound, I fuck with this shit hard. Yeah, he got some different shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so a nigga gonna kind of dwell in there. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get on some love song shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I seen that shit on, yeah, there, yeah. on, 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 on the tape. Oh, God, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga just trying to yeah, yeah. experiment with shit like you said, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You fuck with any new producers? Oh, uh, shit, not really. I mean, you know, my nigga Maddie B. Yeah, yeah. Shout out my nigga Maddie, that's yeah, my boy. Out. Yeah. And you know my nigga Quarto, that's my other producer shit. Yeah. But I have been fucking with this one nigga, uh, Uno. You yeah, feel Uno. me from the hood? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. he hard. And go like y'all nice setup. Yeah. He on some hard shit. Yeah, and I, I see that's like important to you to just like really vibe with one person. Yeah. Or just not like one producer, but the niggas that you fuck with. So yeah, like. Yeah. How how hard or how challenging could it be to like be in a booth or be in a studio with a nigga that you ain't kind of like connected with like that? Is yeah. it like hard or is it like kind of easy in the studio? I mean, for me, it ain't that hard. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Because I just you just gotta get a feel for people. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm a people person. Yeah. So shit, I see how a nigga coming. You really notice a lot about a nigga by by the beats he choose. Yeah. Or by the beats he upload. Yeah. So once you hear that and you hear how a nigga coming on there. Either I back door or if a nigga don't know what to say on there, I just get on there and say some shit. Yeah. Just nice. how a nigga feel type shit. Yeah. What would you say the <coughs> different type of question? What would you say the key to life is? Shit, key to life is keep it guard first. Facts. Real Facts. shit. Facts. Keep guard first. Yeah. As long as you got guard first, health and strength. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. niggas take care of their kids, <laughs> bro, you gonna be straight. Facts. <laughs> you don't take care of your kids. You don't take care of your kids. Ain't nothing in your life gonna go right. Ever. And I tell <laughs> niggas this shit all the time. Like, yeah. niggas know. Like, yeah. bro, you don't take care of your kids. You can't even smoke with me. Yeah. Nigga. You Facts. can't smoke, drink. I ain't trying to kick it with you, yeah. skate with you. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> don't take Facts, care of your baby, nigga. Yeah, like, nah, that shit real. Like, an old nigga told me that shit once. 
He said, if you don't take care of your kids, your fucking life will never go right. This shit gonna be hell for Yeah, you. like, it's gonna be hell for Once niggas realize that shit. But then, you good. like, you kind of scared straight on some shit. Yeah, like, shit. I gotta do this. Like, you got to. Yeah, yeah, I gotta baby, do this. You yeah, you like, I gotta do this. Take care of your this. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of niggas don't be wanting to grow up. You feel me? Yeah. They feel like they, they ain't experienced life all the way. Fuck that. Really? Yeah. You, you created a life, so yeah. shit. It really, it ain't fuck your life and it fuck your admiration yeah. and dreams, but nigga, he's like, you got you got somebody else to do it you for. You got to cater these. And I ain't even got no kids, yeah. but I got nieces and nephews that ain't treat like they mine. Yeah. I'm killed. Yeah. Do My you think, to know that shit. Not saying that your grind is like, or bad or anything like that right now, but do you think when you have kids, it's going to turn into like something that you ain't never oh, tapped yeah. into? I already know. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna turn into a dim- different animal. Yeah, you feel me? I'm gonna, everything I'm doing is gonna be like times five. Cause yeah. It's like, yeah, a lot of niggas really do get rich when they got kids because that's, that's that motivation for real. Yeah, that you ain't got time to, to lay and play. Yeah, you gotta really go get that shit. Like yeah. you can't, you can't be bullshit. Real yeah. shit. Nah, I get you. What was, what was like? If you had to pick like one album to be your favorite album growing up, what would it be? Just by for anybody? Yeah, just anybody. Mm. Just one you can think of, like, off to, like that's in your head right now. Shit. I say Kendrick Lamar album. Good the Kid, Kid Man, Man City. City. No, that's yeah, yeah, that's my shit. Bro, I, I lucky grew up too. off that shit, though. Like, yeah. high school, that's what a nigga was bumping in my head for most yeah. of the time. Shit. And then I was listening to a lot of older niggas. Yeah. Like Fat Pat now, Goody Mo. You can't get away from the Fat Pat. You can't get away from, yeah, shit, get away from yeah. Houston, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though my mama moved me to Florida and shit, yeah. I'm going to always have my Houston roots. Facts. Let's go back to that Kim Lamar album. Like how, like, how did you feel when you first heard that motherfucker? That shit was inspirational because yeah. it was like, that's what a nigga was really going through yeah. every day. Yeah. Real shit. Like, yeah. I ain't just grow up in the most super ghetto, filthy and shit. Yeah. But a, a nigga was in the hood. Yeah, facts. In yeah. different yeah. hoods, in the same area, though. I never left the north side. Yeah. But niggas know how the north side shit get for real. Yeah. This shit, nigga, you can be a good kid in a mad city. Facts. Okay. So, how is it, like, just being, being, like you say, like, even like, it ain't even gotta be a good kid in a mad city, just being in a mad city, being whatever type of kid you is. But how important is it to to just uh, stay true to like your own like shit when people are swaying you to go this way? Some people want you to go this way. So yeah. like how how? how I mean, I I deal with mind? that shit, but I ain't really have to like because the way my parents and my dad and you know my uncles and shit. I got a bunch of older cousins and shit. Yeah. That's why I am the way I am now. Yeah. I don't do a lot of the shit the young niggas do. Yeah, you feel me? So. A nigga had a strong mind, like if I don't really want to do that shit, I'm not going to do that shit. Yeah. And can't nobody make me do that shit because yeah, nice. like, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Real <laughs> shit. Thanks, nah, but a nigga yeah. have had them times where you like, you know what I'm saying, you kicking it with the homies and shit. Yeah. Peer pressure is a motherfucker, I ain't going to lie about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, niggas make you, you feel me, you just trying to be yeah. around, you feel me, this is what your niggas doing, some shit. You ain't trying to look like no hoe. Yeah, yeah exactly. so you gon' you gonna get out too. Shit. Yeah, that's exactly. just that's just part of being a black young nigga growing up. Exactly, that's you are your environment. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What age do you see yourself retiring for rap? Shit, I don't know an age, but I know the like the point of money I want. Yeah, to like really just kick back from this shit. Yeah, because I mean I've always been into rap since a young kid. Like, yeah. Riding around with my folks and shit, I tell them turn the music up. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't be want to do all that talking out of town. Yeah. Just let the music play. You yeah. feel me? A nigga is into instruments. Yeah. I used to play the violin and shit. Yeah. Back in the day in middle school and oh, shit. For real? Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. Dope as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I done play with that shit. Yeah. Choirs and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even though in high school I ain't go to choirs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck that. Choirs. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. So like, how? Um, so so really, it's just like the love of music for you. Yeah, hey, yeah. Shit. It ain't really. Would you Would you do this shit if it wasn't no money connected to it? Hey, yeah. yeah. I still make music because. My people's fuck with my music, like yeah. my peers. Yeah. And they really be understanding what I be saying and yeah. and, and that shit kinda helped them. Like it yeah. started to give some niggas inspiration. Cause yeah. the niggas that really grew up with me. Niggas yeah. know where I'm from and niggas know what I do. Yeah. And how I've been my whole life. Facts. So 
niggas to see my growth, you feel me, and put it in their story. Yeah. Not exactly. necessarily like using a nigga like, but they they can they can feel the nigga because they going through the same shit. Yeah. Just in different ways, we all go through the same shit. Right. Whether you black, Mexican, white, Puerto Rican, yeah. it don't matter, nigga. Yeah. We go through the same shit with everything. Yeah. Man. No nah, care. This is this is something I did notice about you that I do gotta be with you about, bro. What's that? You are a Kansas City Chiefs fan. Oh, yeah, you know, I love my brother. <laughs> I love them Chiefs. Bro. I've been a Chiefs fan since middle school, nigga. I was the nigga walking around with Jamal Charles, <laughs> Destin the Cluster, in the Bonda. You know, you got the clear nah, Bonda. Yeah, nah, I put my shit in there. Yeah, yeah. Alex Smith, so Chris like, Holmes, all of them. Is that when you start watching football? Or yeah, just, nah, like, I've been watching football all my life. I've been playing. I've been playing Little League football since I was like eight years old. Oh, really? Seven, eight years old. Yeah. yeah, like, what fan were you before, like, Kansas City? Because I'm pretty sure you be getting that shit, like, when people yeah, be like, you're yeah. a bandwagon fan. Like, I got a story about this yeah. shit, too, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, see, I used to be a Texas fan when I was young. Yeah. But some shit happened, right? Yeah. So my daddy, you feel me? My daddy was fucking with them. You know, my pops. My pops used to be doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My, my pops was hustling. Yeah. So, shit, my pops put... He put his money on the Texas one time. My daddy lost his money because the Matt Shaw. I hate that nigga <laughs> to this, this day. This was his pick six days when he was yeah, throwing, he was throwing the world niggas taking this shit to the crib for <laughs> eighty. No cap. And my daddy lost his money on that shit. I couldn't get me no fucking Jay. Yeah, I, I don't think he couldn't give me a Pierce too or some Jay, bro. Yeah. The Texas lost. And I hated the Texans ever, ever since, since then. He said fuck that. I ain't hate fucking the niggas for no. Nah, bro, y'all y'all up three. Mm -hmm. Y'all got three of them boys. The greatest quarterback ever. Yeah. <laughs> you been catch Brady. Hey, he from Texas. Yeah. So nah, come on, Texas, man. Texas, 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 yeah, yeah. Texas, Texas, the boy from White House, White House, Texas. That's like yeah. on the east side. Fuck. But you, you is like you ain't good standards with the Rockets. <coughs> I do see you be at the Rockets games and shit. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh wait, are you a Rockets fan? Yeah, nah, yeah. I am shit. I yeah. Fuck with the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been fucking with the rock, you know. Yeah, yeah. People nah. love me at the Rockets game. I get drunk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cash and shit. Right. They be like, sit down. See, the, the nigga at the Rockets game, they call me Woo, you feel yeah. me? They don't call me my real name. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The nigga be in the PNC lounge and shit, chilling. Yeah, nah, that's real shit. Dope. Yeah, yeah. I met that nigga, uh, I met a couple people at the Rockets game. Oh, Eric real? Ebron at that game. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Nah, that shit dope. Yeah. Nigga shook his hand like he knew me. I never met that nigga there. <laughs> nah, he had the like real cool. jewels busting them talking about oh. nigga shit. Yeah, Flawless yeah, down. Yeah, nah, I fucked okay. When they played the Sixers, little baby man shit, we was sitting across the road for them niggas. Nah, for real? Seen the whole 4 PO crew, that shit inspired a nigga, real yeah, shit. Yeah, nah, that shit dope. Me and my niggas, we seeing that shit like that's gonna be us one day. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it's gonna be, I'm telling you now. Like you said, you pushing the label, you pushing yourself, so like, what else can we expect from you, like, for the rest of the year? Shit, just dropping more grease. Mm hmm. Dropping more pressure, working with different niggas. Yeah. See me? I'm finna go get some shit in. With, with more niggas that around this bitch that I fuck with, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like the nigga Lil Blue. Yeah. Bro Hard. You mm -hmm. feel me? I gotta do some more shit. My nigga with my 900 niggas. My yeah. nigga YJB Glock. Mm -hmm. 900 Velo. Freddie yeah. K. YJB Casino. All my niggas, man. Yeah. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's really all the questions I got for you, man. Like I said, just, just get your shit out, man. Let them niggas know, man. 2 to 3 PLB Wooski, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming at the mall, you know what I'm saying? Real Sick. Texas shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I got my roots, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. Yeah. Coming for you. Glory Radio. Let's get it. <laughs>